The first time I got locked up, I was 12. It was robbery, six counts. In every class, I was high, I was drunk. I was pretty much a pill head. I would leave the house, but I never went to school because I was a drug dealer. I was just gang banging. It sounded good to me. I didn't have nobody else to tell me from right to wrong. When I was 12, I was drinking. When I was 14, I had a needle in my arm. I was a heroin addict from 14 to 20. I overdosed in a gas station bathroom. And what I remember is a man standing there at my bedside who was always trying to help me. I would tell him, leave me alone. I'm fine. I don't need your help. And he said, are you ready to change? And then I gave in and said, yes. And that's when I went through Delancey Street. It is what saved my life. Life Learning Academy is a charter high school in San Francisco located on Treasure Highland. We serve 70 students who haven't made it anywhere else. They've either been kicked out, dropped out, or locked up. Most of the kids that have come here have been told most of their lives, you'll never change. Peace. They see nothing but violence all around them. They don't believe inside that they can change. We make it hard for them to give up. As soon as I got out of the juvenile hall, the same day that I got out, I came up here and I made an interview with Terry. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Terry. I just want to make a short announcement and then I'll let What I expect, number one, is honesty. And if they're not honest with me, they're not coming. And you can't commit to me right here in this interview that you are open to change. It's not going to happen. I had a really bad attitude when I went in. I was rolling my eyes. People would be like, oh, she's going to definitely make you cry. She made me cry in the interview. And I'm like, what are these people talking about? You know, I'm like, I don't care. I just thought she was a crazy, mean old lady. She came across nice until she told me to tell her about myself. And then she flipped. She just started screaming at me, telling me who I was. She said, who do you think you are? And I was like, I don't know. And she said, you got to know, you are obviously running around on the streets like a wild horse. And I just looked at her like, this lady thinks she know me. Kids meet Terry and instantaneously tell her things they've never told anybody else in their lives. I never knew there was somebody out there like that. My number one principle here is nonviolence. We don't have metal detectors. We don't have police officers. We don't have guards of any kind here. Our doors are unlocked. And if you see somebody from a different neighborhood from you, you're going to say, hi, how you're doing? How you doing? Welcome to Life Learning Academy. Yeah, how you doing? Anything less than that, you and I are going to have a problem. At first it's awkward, but then one sees that, all right, I'm not banging at this school. We ain't here to do that. We're here to handle our business. It literally is each one teach one, not just to get an education for themselves. It is to understand that you got a responsibility for the next kid. The school is very like, like it's a family and it's cool to be here, it's like you feel safe. It's helping me change throughout the jail system, throughout the probation system, so it's really helping me process my life. Everybody be committed to non-violence. That it really helps you with your goals and stuff. It's a little bit of everything, we touch up on everything here. The kids are so used to finding holes that they can sort of get through and they can't find them here. They try. All right, go ahead, keep going. Everything is noticed. When you have six kids in a class, you can't disappear. So we're able to very quickly identify what kids' needs are and then tailor for them an individualized program. Could be photography, could be digital art, to find some spark that'll motivate them to come to school every day and learn to live nonviolently. Once they get connected, they turn around to be the most loyal, strong advocates for other kids. It's great and we have good food. It is a priority. Fridays, we have a family style lunch. Today we're having hoisin chicken and Asian salad. A lot of the students don't have families that they go to, so we eat as a family, so they feel more comfortable and we all get to know each other too. There's nothing better than watching a kid change. There's just nothing better. I love this school. It literally saved my life. I think I'd be dead or just another tweak on the streets. I found a love for science. I got accepted to a program to work in the UCSF labs on real research. Now that's some real food right there. I'm going to San Francisco City College. I got a scholarship and when I get enough grades, uh, we'll be transferring to San Francisco State. We have a 95% graduation rate.
We're just really proud of them, and they love to come see their picture on the wall. I'll always remember Terry as that crazy lady that saved my life. Everybody else said Terry is their second mom. This is real. Terry is my first mom. <laughs> I owe it all to her because if it wasn't for her, I would either be dead or I'd be a possum too. I feel like I have a future now. I feel like I'm going to become something in life. You do the hokey pokey and you throw yourself around. Hey, that's what it's all about. I feel privileged to have found this school.